Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I wanted to do a, um, a video today to catch you up with what I've been working on, and my desk is such a wreck, as you can see, that I don't even know where to start. <laughs> it's, um, wow. <laughs> okay, so I've been working on a book. Um, I have one, two, three, four uh, signatures. Wait, let's see, my camera's not... I guess it is. I've been working on signatures. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Maybe that'll help. And um, I think I might add one more, but we'll see. I like working in colors, so they're divided up in colors. This is green, pink, orange, yellow, and this one is tones and shades of blue. So I cut some computer paper and when I cut it, I cut it the wrong way, the wrong side. And so I had like 40 sheets <laughs> that I cut the wrong direction. And I decided I was not going to waste it. I have a, I had a DeLonghi espresso machine that has gotten older and it drips. So I would catch all the drips in a little glass bowl, probably about the same size as this right here. And then I took that from it dripping and I dumped it into a one quart canning jar and then I would leave that in the fridge and then when I needed to dye paper I would just use that liquid so that it wasn't um, it wasn't wasted liquid I wasn't drinking it but I was saving it boy the lighting in here is really terrible okay hang on a second let me turn on a light I don't know does that help shadows crud no all right let's try this does that help? No. Oh, well, guys, I tried. Okay, so after dyeing 40 sheets with coffee, I decided, well, I'm going to make, a, you know, a book. <laughs> but, of course. So I've been looking through. This is a book that I made. I think I worked on this during COVID. Yeah, I think I worked, started working on this during COVID. And these are ideas of different people on how to make different things for your um, journals. Different, let's see, which way is it open? I can't even remember now. Oh, um, this is just, you know, different cool things you can do. A majority of these ideas came from um, Corey Dahman and different places like that. I would try to write names in here of where I got them from. And I wasn't trying to make it pretty. I was just trying to show myself as a reminder on how to make certain things because I like them. And I was using this as a reference the other day, trying to figure out, you know, things like this. I'm thinking, now, how did I do this? <laughs> You know, you think, oh, y'all yeah, remember. No. <laughs> no. So I was thumbing through this, and I thought, well, let me just make some of these and put them in a book that, that all those papers that I dyed, and let me put a book together. So this is full of different kinds of great ideas I really liked. I like this one, but this one I don't want to put the time into it because this is a lot of components to get this together. I just don't want to take the time to um, do that to it. I mean, it's got two, it's two-sided. All this is part of this, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to fool with it, but I still really like it. I think it's one of my favorite ones. And I do like these for the windows for envelopes. Those are great ideas. See, I wrote down there that came from Treasure Books. G. Kerr, uh, Shannon Chop Hayes for the little pockets. Uh, here's another one, Shannon Chop Hayes, Chop and Hayes, I think is that is that her name, Chop and Hayes, yeah. And then this one's Camellia Crafts Designs, the pocket, the way you fold, you have the side fold, and then the pocket goes in there. So anyway, I was playing around with this, and I thought, well, let me put some of that stuff in here. So I'm at the beginning of it. Um, let me. I'll give you a little flip of them. They're nowhere near being finished. So this is a paper clip. 
it's two-sided and it's covered up where you can't see the paper clip itself. I really like these. And then this is just a piece of paper, scrapbook paper. I don't have this paper anymore. It's my last piece. And I was debating whether or not to cut it up. And I thought, no, I'm just going to slide it in there as a point of interest. I'm not going to do anything to it because I like the way it looks. This is an off cut from something else. And I just sewed around all the pages first. I, so I soaked them in coffee. Then I did random stenciling on them. Then I sewed around each page before I started folding them and getting them ready for signatures. So these are just painted offcuts that I use to put on the corner or the sides. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Um, and then this is a snippet where I did scrap snippets and you sewed them together. And I just got done cutting this in half so that I could have it was wide, so I could have two pieces to put here on the corner. It's just glued. I mean, I sewed the, all the snippets on there together. It's a one sheet, and then I cut them in strips. And then I just sewed it on there. I mean sewed it on. I just glued it on there. So that's glued on. So that's what these kinds of things are when you see them on the corners. This is just scrapbook paper where I liked how it did the round. And then I didn't have a wide piece of it, so I just took it and folded it right over the edge. And this is just the straight edge. And this was the scallop side. This is only a piece of scrap. Well, I don't know if I have any here. I've got a big old pile of green stuff I pulled out of my folder. So this would be like a scrap that I cut down, folded it over, and then glued it on there as a tab. This is a pocket I made out of scraps. This is just uh, watercolor on watercolor paper to make a word square that I didn't like the other side so I flipped it over and I'm using it in the pocket for now this is leftover paper from this and this is another snippet I like making the snippets they come in handy so I haven't put stuff on every page this was made as one solid piece and then folded over the edge so I and then these are trees these are stencils from my friend Carla at what if NC and then I sewed these, but and then they're just glued onto the side. So this is just the beginning of the green, the green signature. Then I have the pink. There's a lot going on on this one. <laughs> this is a leaf they painted. This is another one of those um, covered up paper clips. This is just a piece of paper that I sewed around. The, it's scrapbook paper, and I sewed around the edges, and I just glued it on the end, like I did the others for the green one. Then there is a little, um, the, this is, me, 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 I have scraps from old paper, and I don't want to throw them away from where I tore them off the edges, so what I do is, once I'm done with them, I will sew them, and then I will use the walnut stain Let's turn it around here. Walnut stain uh, stuff from Tim Ho uh, Ranger. And then I will glue it somewhere. And this just happened to become a pocket. That's all that is. So I saved the older paper ones. I don't save white paper quite the same. I save these. These are a lot. So some of them that I had that were old already and I had little tiny pieces of them, I went ahead and took a stencil. And I stenciled letters of the alphabet and... Um, numbers on the ends and then I just glued it on there that's all that's all that is and then I used the walnut stain on it um, I made a little book again these are off cuts that I dug out of my scrap pile I don't want to waste them I'd use the three hole pamphlet stitch I'd sewed around this original piece then I glued it onto the front here and this is a closure by I think this G Kerr did this and this is just another random watercolor leaf and then this is the back side of the staple this is an envelope that has miscellaneous stuff material brown paper and then I chopped off the XYZ from the alphabet and letter stencil this is another flower I think this came from G Kerr again I'm not sure then I stenciled on the vellum pocket I made these 
geez, last year or year before last, there's just little scrap notebooks. And then sewed the top, glued the flower on. And then I just keep, keep it in the little pocket here. I could, if this envelope didn't have the top on it, I might take the back, which is just random cardstock or manila envelope, and then put it over the edge and then glue the pocket on there so that you can have something in the pocket and then you can have something on the outside. But I don't want to cut the top off. So I just put this in here like this and then slip it under the other side of the paper clip and it's going to stay there until I decide what to do with it. And I might just leave it there permanently. So this one doesn't have, it's got a lot of stenciling. There's just nothing else in it because this one's just getting started. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is the yellow slash orange one. Again, I made a little three-hole pamphlet stitch signature with just random pieces of paper. I sewed on stuff. This, this, I have a little drawer here that has, I just draw on little strips of paper like this. And then I put all those in a drawer so that when I'm ready to look for random things, I have them right here with me. Then I made a pocket out of it, and this is just uh, a cluster that just in the pocket. This one is a stencil, and I colored it in, and then I used the walnut stain on it to make it look a little bit older. This is just part of the signature. That's a long, skinny signature. This is a, I think I, these were stamps or die cuts. I can't remember. I'm looking at my die cuts to see. This might have been a leaf stamp that I used. At, oh no, it's a die cut. It's a stamp. It's a leaf die cut. And then I did miscellaneous marks and used that for a tab. I open it up and there's some lace in there that I dyed. This is a metal brad that I cut the prongy deals off of and glued it on there. This is watercolor flower. That I put on the front here. Then there, I glued an envelope where it's my, my flowers that I drew and I colored them in. I think I did these with a yellow Sharpie. And it's a, it's like a tissue paper or a type very onion skin. Onion skin, that's what I'm looking for. Then I found this in my stash of stuff that I made during COVID. This is all just deli paper with little scraps of brown things that came from this collection here. And I just cut off the random pieces and made them as little tabs in the book. This is a lot of these little doodad things are things that I made during COVID when I was bored out of my mind. This is a doily that I learned how to fold and I and made it into a pocket and I just glued the pocket in here. This is one of those things that I made during COVID. Just stuck it in there. And then we close it this way, go this way. A random watercolor leaf to add a little color to it. This is kind of like the same, this is vellum, this is actual vellum. And then I had um, a little brown tag and I just did miscellaneous stuff glued onto the top of it or onto it and then just slipped it in there. Another watercolor random thing and I taped with um, yellow washi tape and I had I had cut this off another it was a long branch and I cut it off and I hate to waste them so I just taped the random thing on there. I don't have any way to close this up and this is very bulky very bulky. Then this is one of those envelope things. I just took the um, took the envelope and sewed the paper around it, glued the paper first, then sewed around it, and then glued this on top of it. Then I think this is scrapbook paper. Yep, double-sided scrapbook paper. Took a tab, glued it on the top so that... Eh, can I get in there? Maybe not. Come on, open. Yeah, so just... I put the tab on there so it looks cool from the side and you can just pull it out quickly. Well, I say quickly. And then the rest is still evolving. I took a yellow watercolor flower and put it over a disc that I didn't, after I put the disc on there, I didn't like the way it looked. So then I took a yellow watercolor flower and just glued it on top of the disc 
and that serves as a, a top tab. See, I didn't like how it looked on the other side, and I was like, eh, no, cover it up. Just a random piece of watercolor paper that was cut this way, and I thought, let me stick that up there, and it can be a little baby tab. Again, this is still in the works. Um, this was made during COVID. I just added the numbers on here. This is another closure, so you can just spin it around. It's glued on here, and you just spin it around, and then you can open this. I like this. Um, it was cut out of a Where Women Create magazine that was gifted to me. And I like the pattern. It's very busy. So I'm not sure I made the right choice, because then I stick this in here, and I'm not... I'm not sure, whoops, I'm not sure I really like it. But, you know, we'll keep it until otherwise. So there that, that keeps that closed. I don't have anything in the envelope. Whoops, so there's the yellow orange one. And here's the blue one. I think this is the one that has the most amount of work done on it. So the first thing I did was I took stuff out of my, my um, stash and I made these during COVID and then I glued three quarters well half of it on there then I took a tag I had and I had this was came out of one of these little boxes and then I just glued that on there it's an old tag from during COVID it had nothing on it except for the watercolor so put that in there for the time being then again I made another little scrapbook sort of thing I've got the closure on here just swing it around these are random things. This is uh, paper from Where Women Create magazine. You will see this again. It was a leftover piece, so I used it to bind the... Um, I used it to glue this on to the paper, the signature. So they're just... The red, I'm sorry, now I put that on there. It's too late. I'm leaving it in there. Then there was a little button with a little cluster. Just random things glued together. And it, this is the same paper as this here. I just loved it. I cut it out of the magazine. I love the blue and the yellow together. That's what inspired the blue section was this paper here. Then I took a little tiny envelope that I made. It's one of those, I think I learned this from Corey Dahman. It was a little random strip of leftover paper. Somebody else's art, not mine. This is photocopied. I, this is somebody else's art. And I just stamped a line stamp I have on it to make it look like a little notepad. And then it goes under a tiny little paper clip. This is a tab that I cut during COVID. Random paper. Here's the inside. If this is another one of the things that came out of this. It was random off of something else. Again, more random paper. I can't explain this. <laughs> it started out with good intentions and it just got kind of crazy. Um, this is a picture of one of the things that I made from the five-day accordion challenge, and I had two extra copies of it, so I thought, well, what the hey, stick it in a pocket. There's the numbers from this stencil that I tore off one of these. Um, this is a tag that I created during COVID just a random tag and I thought well let's put it in there it's got yellow on it and it it'll be fine and there's a blue bonnet that I um, that I made during COVID the shutdown really um, sparked a lot of creativity I had a lot of time on my hands and it was fun here is a random piece that came off of here this is just a random piece, glued it on. Um, also in the Where Women Create magazine, there was this beautiful canvas this woman made, and I could not help myself. I just loved all the texture and the cover, color on it. So I cut it out of the magazine, and I made a book out of it. So these are, let me show you where I got this. I saved my watercolor, I'm not a color, my coffee stuff and brown paper type things. That I think I might use for whatever. I save them all in here and then when I need a little snippet or a little thing, I just go digging in here for stuff. Look, here's this. A brown doily. So this is all my coffee dyed stuff that I go back and I look for. Ooh, that might come in handy. Um, and I get it out of here and find it and then I make something with it. Which these 
papers in here were long pieces that were in there. I thought, ooh, ooh those look like signatures for sure. So then I took um, little pictures that I painted or I colored in with Posca pen and I put a little picture of some kind of flower or plant on every page in here. So it would give it a little more interest other than just coffee dyed paper, which is wonderful to begin with, but it needed a little, a little um, kick to it. So I put that in there. And I didn't want to glue the book in because what if I want to take it out and write in it? So I just took, um, where is it? I had ruler, oh, I don't see it. I had ruler scrapbook paper that was on the back of another pattern. It was just rulers, so I cut them out. And I started to use it, and I didn't have quite enough to make it tall for slide-in, so I took other random pieces of the magazine from this same picture in the magazine, and I glued them on here to extend it out so I could make sure this was could be slipped in. And the way I keep it in there is I took this little paper clip, I slide it in through here, and then I took the little paper clip so I wouldn't it wouldn't move around and I just put it over the two so it's not sliding around every time you open it up. This is just a random piece of paper yet to be determined. Then I made these little stamp pockets and I think I got that from Cory Dahman. It's just a random piece of paper like this with some vellum sewn on it and then divided into two and it has random ephemera in it. This is a little tiny um, book that has the tab on the top and yes there's a three hole pamphlet stitch and another little painting I did and then there's another little flower and they're just little tiny off cuts just sort of like this kind of thing that are straightened up a little bit and then put in there like this I did it this way and then folded them and I used some kind of cardstock I think on here to make a little book then this We'll open up. It's a vellum envelope that I wasn't using. And then this was a um, random sort of composition that was made last year. Just slip it in there. And then I kept it closed with a little paper clip because then I can open it up. And then I found this a picture of this in a book that I was gifted and it has old world type stuff in it, like spell books and fairies and sprites and stuff. I just really liked it, so I um, ripped this out. And then I had some random paper from that same basket I showed you. Pulled them out, made a three hole pamphlet stitch, or just a little, no, actually it was two. I went through two holes of it. And I made it loosey goosey, don't care took the back and glued a piece of this paper onto something a little more stiff. There's that ruler thing that I used on this other book. And then I just slide it in there and then the little book just sits. It's a little surprise when you turn this. A random tab I cut out of leftover paper. This is a leaf that I painted that was a stamp for sure. I know this one's a stamp on random paper. This one is just a blue fancy little paper clip. I painted this and this is part of this painting. There were two pages of it in the magazine so I ripped out both pages. Then I took it and I folded it and I made it into three sections. Then I cut the little divots so you can pull whatever's in the pocket out. I haven't got that far yet for pocket stuff. And I wanted to, and now some of it had like a black and red on it. And I was like, no. So I had some off cuts. So I took the off cuts and the colors that I liked and glued them on top of the painting so that I would have the little blue parts that I really liked. I just thought that was such a great painting. And then I just close it. And there we go. This is paper from uh, Edged music sheets. I dyed some uh, lace this last year and that's just a little piece of lace that's sewn onto the edge of the paper. This was a snippet that was made and I can't remember who I saw this, 
who made this that you glue a bunch of stuff on and then you sew it. It's kind of, I guess it's a paper snippet. And then I glued that on top of this to cover up where I sewed the lace. See, both sides you can't see where I sewed the lace on there because this is on top of it. Random paper, some of my watercolor stuff. It's a just a jelly print that's got a stamp on it. And then stuck that stuff in the pocket. So is there more in here? Oh, yep, there is. All right, the, this is a paper pad. I still need to do something to this because it's a little too girly for me. But these were random pieces of paper. This is a piece of cardstock. And there's another one of those rule things. And then I just glued it on there so I can take this out and work on it and then just slip it back in. I really like this concept of the belly bands being used as a way to anchor something in the book. This is another one of those double side paper clips. And here is part of that lovely painting with the sunflowers and the blue and colors. So I took those and cut them in half. And then I did the, um, the cut in there so that, you know, I can put something in here. It'll have to be something kind of short because I don't really want to cut up. I don't want to cover up the sunflowers. I probably should have switched the order these are in. Anyway, so there's those two pockets sewn on here. And all I did was sew on this and then glued it onto here. So you never see the sewing on the other side because it's not sewn. More stenciling. And that is it. So I have the blue, the green, the pink, and the orangey yellow. And I'm still working on them. Um, let me show you. When there was nothing to do for a couple of years, you know what I'm talking about there. Um, I just followed, I did, watched a lot, a lot, a lot of videos. And I went ahead and um, did some of these things in advance, labeled them, and then put them in an envelope in a basket. And then whenever I need inspiration or I need a little piece to put in a pocket, I just go look through this stuff and find something. I'm going to lose that. Let me put that in there. Because that's this, and this is this before it becomes that. <laughs> before and after. All right, everybody. I think that's it. I'm all caught up. I was out of town for two days, so I di didn't really have a whole lot of video. And I thought, well, let me just sit down and record this real quick, because tomorrow's Tuesday. And I didn't want to skip doing a video, because last week I scheduled the video and forgot to, or I did the video and forgot to schedule it, so pfft, my bad. All right, that's it for me. I will see you guys next week. Hopefully I'll have more work done on this other little book. I want to add one more color, um, but I don't know what color I want to do. I don't want to do black and white, but I need a fifth because, you know, odd numbers are better. I'd like a fifth signature, but I just don't know what color to do. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. All right, everybody, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.